to Fun Fresh Friday. Yes, Hello, welcome everyone. everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yes, welcome, Sonetta. How are you? I am doing absolutely wonderful. <laughs> Out of breath, but wonderful. You're looking so, wonderful. Yeah, yeah. It's it's been busy, been been very busy, but uh, I'm here. <laughs> nice to just sit and, um, relax, right? Take your shoes off, yes. chill out, everyone, and we are going to be talking about hugs. Mm. Yes. <laughs> that, that touch, that feeling, that longing of having that embrace. Yes. But not romantically, only romantically, just even just a loving hug, just a warm mama hug, any kind of hug, right? Yes. Yeah, I love those warm mama hugs. <laughs> it says something to you. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Absolutely. So we are going to do some shout outs before we start. Zanetta, who do you want to say hi to? Um, who do I want to say hi to? Gosh, uh, you know what? I want to say hi to a really good friend of mine, um, Diane Quick. She sometimes watches the move, the the show, and uh, but today she was check up that asking me, asking me, what are you doing? What do you guys have planned? And all of that. And so finally, I said, I don't. What what do you have in mind? <laughs> so she um, she said that they were going to the. Uh, the art um, expo, mm -hmm. and she had an extra ticket. Oh, so I went with her. Yeah, is that where you went to see the Van Gogh exhibition? I saw pictures on. Your no, phone. no, no, that was totally different. This one is an art expo where a lot of artists mm -hmm. um, showcase their their items, and um, there's a lot of paint a lot of homemade you know handmade it's, it's really mm -hmm. nice really really great it's it's huge here so i really enjoyed myself today just going through seeing through the uh a lot of talent yeah a lot of talent yeah so shout out to diane hi diane hi diane <laughs> well, welcome if you're watching you may want to hop on and say hi too hey Yes, just say hello. <laughs> <laughs> so we have Natalie here saying good evening, ladies. Yes, good evening, Natalie. And I have a shout out. Who do I have a shout out to? I have a shout out to one of my friends, Catherine, here in Melbourne. Yes, shout out to Catherine. Doesn't always watch it live. She often watches it on the replay. So... Catherine, when you watch this on the replay, this shout out's for you. <laughs> oh, hi, Catherine. Thank you for even watching on the replay. Thank you yes. so much. Yes, yes. So today we are going to be talking about, as you already know, hugs and the power of a hug and what a hug can really do for you. Zanetta, do you like hugs? I, I'm a hugger. You're a hugger? Mm. I'm, I am a hugger. And this COVID just ugh, did exactly. something. Horrible. Yeah. Did something horrible to our hugs. I mean, I think we thought that hugging was going to be just out of fashion for a long time, right? But <laughs> we weren't going to ever see that be able to hug again. And that was pretty sad. I don't know about yeah. you, but I felt so disconnected i mean we, we all were in isolation and, and felt so disconnected and that feeling or not for some of us i mean i for part of my isolation when i was in italy i was totally on my own at least here i've you know been with my family my parents and it hasn't been so bad but when i was in in italy oh my god it was it was um horrible horrible and you can understand why now you know Prisoners, they put them in isolation really for punishment because it's a real severe punishment. You want to punish someone, you just isolate them. And it's, yeah, not good at all. But, yeah, so the 
the positive effects of a hug, the healing effects of a hug, the nonverbal message of a you know that a hug brings. There's just yeah. so much that a hug can communicate, right? Mm -hmm. And let us not forget self hugs. Who out there really just gives himself a hug? If you're out there, let us know, because giving yourself a hug. Um, and I know it may seem stupid for some people say, what, give yourself a hug? No, it's giving that yourself that hug and really saying, I'm present, I'm here, I've got you, you know, feeling is so healing. It's so empowering. It's so telling you, you're not on your own. You got right. you. And it's, and it's beautiful. And I often... I often do that in bed, to be quite honest, because I, I love curling up in that like fetal position to fall asleep. That's my position. Um, so, yeah, it just feels nice to, to give myself my own hug, especially after a big day. <laughs> it can uh, be that way. So, yeah. who do we Jessie, have? Hmm, hi, as, Jessie, as a single human, I have hugged myself. Good on you. That's awesome. Yes. So important. And, oh, that's just Jesse. Okay, I thought there was another yes. one. Yeah, so we're going to be talking about hugs. So first of all, Zanetta, tell me, were you, have you always been a hugger? I mean, you know, I think being a, coming from a Filipino family, I, mean, I know being Italian, we just love hugging and kissing. Like this is just, it's a criteria. <laughs> <laughs> and if you, you step into my world, you get lavished with hugs and kisses. Um, and yeah. I'm, not, I'm not afraid to say that, you know, and some people are afraid of that. And we're going to talk about that a little bit later as well, you know, if you're not a hugger and a kisser. But share, please tell us. Yes. So, um, yes, it, culture of the Filipinos, we hug, even though we're just meeting for the first time. Oh. We just immediately go in and, you know, hug. Um I think it's because so that we can, you know, let the individual know that, you know, hey, you know, we might be strangers, but this hug will solidify this, uh, you know, this meeting or, you know, and then it breaks the whatever barrier, the, the invisible, you know, awkwardness, it just removes it. It, mm -hmm. it removes it and then it becomes more of a, you know, like a, we begin to talk like we're old friends and <laughs> yeah. And then we'll say, Oh, do you, um, do you go to this place? And so we'll, Oh yes. Oh yeah. Oh, do you enjoy this? And so it becomes, you know, this, this, uh, it's, it's a icebreaker. It's a, yeah. it's to break that, you know, awkwardness, that kind of, um, thing. So yeah, it's, it's a culture. It's a culture. For us, we hug before we leave. We hug when we come back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and we do that as well. Um, Italians, you know, if you're ever, you know, leaving and coming home, I mean, even just as living in my family, if we would leave, we would hug and kiss. So there'd be a kiss, mm -hmm. with a yes. hug, right? Yeah. And we wake up in the morning and there's a hug and, and a kiss and there's – yes. You say good night. There's another hug and a kiss, and yes. then there's those in between ones during the day. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's yeah. So if you leave the house three times, you're hugging and kissing as you leave and come back in our household. And I know yes. in some households they don't have that. They they I, I just I have found that really um, strange. You know how they see us being strange because we're kissing and hugging, but you know. It's strange for us to watch when we are not, um, yeah, we're not seeing that or we're not, we're entering a family or a, an environment or a, a community where they don't have that and you just go out and hug or you go out and kind of yeah. reach out. Yeah, it, it can be a little bit awkward, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. So, so I'm going to um, acknowledge um, the other comments, but I want yes. to acknowledge my, um, she's, she's uh, my co-actress in the Philippines. Oh. Um, her real name is Jeannie May, but her, uh, her, um, 
her screen name is Christina Crisol. So thank you, Jeannie, for dropping in and saying hello. So this is what we do. This is a Filipino <laughs> hugs and beso beso. We call it beso beso because it's it's a it's a Filipino kiss. Mm. Filipino kiss is, I think, is just the most amazing kiss. You kiss like <laughs> you're <laughs> I'm biased, yes. <laughs> uh -huh. but our kisses are, you You put your lips, okay, so I'm going to do a demonstration of beso beso. Okay, <laughs> please do, please do. So, so here's, you do, so you oh. smell, you do oh, the smell the and the kiss and the smooch, yes. Oh, all in one, <laughs> the smell of smooch and the kiss all in one. Oh, That's why the Filipino beso beso is the best. Yeah, <laughs> I can, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> to be experienced, to try it. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and it's I, just I mean, what's, it's, what's it's, um what's behind that, Zanetta? Like, is it just like you're taking in their their essence? Like, what what is it you're appreciating them? Like, what? Yes. What? So you know how when you kiss babies. Mm. When you kiss the babies and you smell the babies, yes. I think it comes from that, that you're letting them know that you're, you know, you're, a, you're, um, you're a precious, you know, individual. I love you. I cherish you. You know, just that it's, it's just, when I did it to Jeff, I said, I'm going to give you a Filipino kiss. He's <laughs> <laughs> like getting ready. <laughs> So I, I did it on his cheek because oh, yeah. it's on the cheek mm -hmm. and he just loved it because it gives you this, you know, like, oh, you're smelling me too. Oh, you're giving me this kiss. And, you know, so yeah, it, it mm -hmm. just does something to you. Yeah. You I should try it. <laughs> I know, definitely. I guess it's really, um, it's very personal, isn't it? It's very intense. Yeah. It's very, it's like really getting into that person's space and saying, I embrace you. I welcome I'm really you. into you. I'm into you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Wow, that's that's awesome. Um yeah, Italians, uh, what's Italian? Well, Italians just kiss on the cheeks, you know, two kisses, we give two kisses and a hug, and um, you know, it just yeah, they just can't stop kissing. <laughs> <laughs> Period. But in general, in general, I guess, you know, there's people in all nationalities that don't like, you know, kissing or don't like hugging, you know, mm -hmm. don't yeah. like that. But I just quickly wanted to mention what you said about babies, right? And if you were born, you know, and you had a mother that just loved up on you and kissed you and gave you all that, you know, uh, loving, kissing, touching connection, I mean, that is, wow, you are really loving, you know, that baby to the max because I actually say humans thrive on physical connection, right? Yes. And that hugging is one of the most powerful ways to actually show that physical support, okay? It's not just, you know, the the the, the sexual part because some people say when we talk about love languages and people say, oh, my love language is touching, right? Well, yeah. touching is not <clears throat> sex, so let's get that clear. Sex is right. a part of it, but it's not, you know, the actual language of love. And they say that, you know, actually studies have shown that without touch, human babies simply wouldn't develop. Did you know that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, there was a study, um, which was a shame that they did that study, mm. um, because there was so, so many... Uh, babies born during that time where they gave hugs to a portion of the babies and some of them they just ignored mm. yeah it was a cruel it was a it was cruel mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> um, just to get a study you, you know um but there was a lot of orphans uh, back in the day and and uh, they 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 assessed <laughs> that the one the babies that were hugged thrived and grew better and you know um had better um you know uh what do you call it better skin yeah i mean oh. they were they were they were growing you know uh, healthier healthier yeah than the uh, ones that weren't hugged mm. yeah mm. 
Yeah, they cried and they were cranky and, you know, but the babies that were hugged, they they were happier babies. Oh, yeah. That that just makes perfect sense because, you know, yeah. we, we thrive. We survive on, on that touch, that human connection. So yeah. imagine, you know, I mean, I'm sure there, there must be people that come from families that, you know, have not had that um, that opportunity, whether it being because, you know, they've been in a family, you know, parents that haven't, don't do it, not because they don't want to, they haven't really been, you know, they haven't known how to do it or they themselves were not given it. Usually that's what happens. So therefore if they're not being given that opportunity or they haven't grown up in that environment, they're unable to then pass it on um, to their children. But the, the healing qualities of a hug, tell mm -hmm. me, what do you think they are? Yeah. Um, so I'm going to read some comments that we have here. Oh, yes. Um, and, and it and it leads towards, you know, what we're talking about right now. Um, I, I hug uh, myself too a lot. I think it was just a typo. I'm a hugger. I experienced a powerful hug with Zanetta in the airport in the middle of baggage claim. I even cried. It was a powerful and meaningful hug. You know, it's giving that love. It's it's like it's like you're transferring or you're, you know, uh, giving the love that you have to the individual that you're hugging. Mm. Um, and not only does it um, because We've hugged a lot of people, but not a lot of people's hugs have meaning. True. It, yeah. it doesn't, you know, it doesn't do anything for you. you mm -hmm. know? And um, sometimes it can actually, yeah, give you the opposite effect of a hug, really. Like you know, um, maybe in the, the motion, you know, the action of, but the, the energy that's put behind that is so important. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And Jesse said, I hug my oversized stuffed animals. Oh, my God. I, I have a collection of stuffed animals. <laughs> Me too. Me too. And my real fur babies, too. Oh, my goodness. I, I always get Bagheera because he's such a fluffy cat. Um, and he loves it, too. He just waits for me to pick him up and just hug him, you know. And he gives me that, you know. I don't know. It's just, it's just yeah, fur babies, they always give you uh, that. <laughs> I, know. I know Lucy does for you. Oh, that's, she's just, and sometimes I think she gets sick of me because I hug her and kiss her so much. <laughs> She'll go, like say, that's enough now. No more. No. It's like, no, give me some more. No. She goes, and then I. <laughs> <laughs> that's when I, I mean, overkill in hugs, you know. <laughs> Poor Lucy. <laughs> It's funny. Oh my. It is funny. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't grow up with hugs in the home, but received them in family gatherings. Oh, I wonder how that felt. If you can tell us, Jesse, how did that feel, um, you know, growing up in a home? Because in our home, we were huggers, you know, my brothers, um, we didn't have you know, any kind of shame at all. You know, it wasn't like, oh, here, here, here. no, my brothers would, you know, uh, we would be standing or walking, holding hands and their arms around me. So we were that kind of, you know, close family. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what it is to be uh, not having a hug in the home. Exactly. And also I think what um, can be quite and I know I've experienced it myself, where you can be a hugger or not, and you have your partner is the opposite to you. Who out there is a hugger? Let's say we're huggers and you've you've dated, you've gone out, you've had a, a serious relationship with someone who's not a hugger, someone who doesn't love touch. <laughs> <laughs> really? He's oh. not a he's not a real hugger. Okay, yeah, so he's like not a real. That there's some real, like, like if he that. knows you, if he, you know, it, I would see him hug, you know, his best friend of thirty plus years, mm -hmm. um, and his wife, you know. But others, I would see that he would not hug. Mm -hmm. 
So he, I would either he would, you know, if they would extend their hand, he would shake, mm-hmm. and that would be it. But me, I hug everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly. But he's a hugger with you, right? With, oh, yes. So that, this is what I'm saying. With you and that person, that partner, who you're a hugger and being being in a relationship, an intimate relationship with someone who isn't a hugger. My ex. Right. Okay. (laughs) Now, please share. how, How did that feel for you i mean there's nothing wrong with that i'm not condoning people that don't hug okay let's get this straight if you're not a hugger and you don't like hugging that's that's okay that's perfectly fine but let's let's have a look at you know how relationships really sort of like um develop how they you know the strangest thing that now we're talking about hugging and now you're asking about i'm just having flashbacks Mm. Uh, I didn't realize it, I, you know, but now I'm, I'm, you know, going back, he's a hugger outside, not inside. We're talking about the X, the X. Okay. Yeah. So he's a hugger on the outside, but not on the inside. Is that what you just said? Oh, okay. So you could, the, the, the meaningless hugs where you're, not feeling that energy, correct? Yeah. Mm. I don't rem- I, I yeah, I don't I don't remember hugs at home. Oh wow. Yeah. No wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No wonder why we're exes. Um no, uh yeah, he would hug everybody. He would hug everybody out, you know, whether they're genuine or not. I don't know. But at home. No. Mm. Yeah, that, that's quite interesting. So how did that make you feel as a hugger? You know, like, because obviously that was one of your love languages, or one of your primary love languages, would you say? Mm, that, no. Was it? <laughs> okay. Well, maybe not with him. I don't no, know. it's it's still not my love love language. I just love to hug. Okay. Um, it, it's it's like a it's like um, it's like my culture. You know, I, I love Asian food. I love Filipino food. It's going to be a part of me. Mm-hmm. Um, hugging is going to be a part of me. Um, but it's not my love language. It's it, it's not. Um, I mean, I can be. I don't have to be hugged. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't want to hug me, cool. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So no, it, it how I felt like when I said it it didn't it didn't dawn on me until just now. Wow. Yeah, it didn't dawn on me. That's <laughs> well, I know I know with myself, um, and this is not coming from a place of neediness, like you know, because you can be needy in hugs in needing that it's of some it can be that security of oh that person loves me or I'm feeling secure because no, but for me, I, I like you, I love hugging and it comes natural to us because we grew up in it, you know, we were just smothered in hugs and and touch and everything, but it is, it is important, I, I mean, you know, to be with someone that is going to hold my hand, for example, um, mm-hmm. uh, you know, putting an em- embracing hug, you know, just out of nowhere. I think that that's really nice as well because hugs aren't just for greetings and for, you know, saying goodbyes. Hugs can also just come from a place of love in your heart because you just... Yeah you know, want to express love and um, compassion for that person, uh, empathy for that person. It's not just one type of love. There's just many right. forms of love as well. And I think, too, um, the healing qualities of a hug. And now I'll give you an example with my father, who I think most of you know, he's, you know, he's 80, 86. Mm-hmm. 86, 87. Yeah, he's 
he's 87, sorry, he turned 87 in, in um, February. And I know part of his healing, because he, he loves hugs and that, and he's, he's not as huggy, like spontaneously too, because cognitively he's slowing up a little bit. And I'm always giving him hugs. I'm always giving him kisses. And, you know, when I know that he's, and I feel that his energy is a bit down, I'll just go up to him and hug him. And mm -hmm. not say anything, you know. I might say I love you or just not, and just really squeeze him, you know, and mm -hmm. put that intent of love and passion and sending him some healing. Yeah. And it makes a difference without me even telling him maybe anything. Do you know what I mean? <clears throat> yeah. Um, and the other night, it was so beautiful. We were sitting, he has this big grandpa armchair. And my mum's got one now too, which they sit next to each other. <laughs> and this one particular night we were watching, I don't watch TV really, but there was this, I love watching um, National Geographic, the animal. He loves animal shows and everything. So we're sitting there watching the lions and everything. And and then I just grabbed his hand, like, and we just held hands on, the, on you know, with, next to each other. And it just yeah. felt beautiful. And I knew he was receiving because I was giving energetically and he was receiving by the way he held my hand, the, the, the squeeze or just the energy was just beautiful. And, yeah. and that wasn't a hug, but that was a touch. And I could, and that's the same with a hug. When you give that hug to someone, it just, the intent behind it is what's going to whoosh, light up that other person, whether they're ready for yeah. it or not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes. Like what Jesse said, you know, it's skin to skin contact. You know, it's it's that touch. It's that you know, um, the the feeling somebody else's touch. Um, even a stranger, even a stranger's touch. Just a just a hand on the shoulder. You know, just a touch. Um, when when you don't know what to say, or you, you know, you're. And I've seen so many of of the um, of the uh, documentaries with um, 9/11 during during when the twin towers came down, and there was a lot of people that were strangers. A whole bunch of them were strangers, mm. and some of them were just hugging, and some of them were just having their hand on their shoulder. Mm -hmm. uh, giving that comfort, giving that, that assurance that there's another human being here too, you, you know, just letting you know that I'm here, mm -hmm. you know, you're not alone. Yeah. So that touch that, you know, yeah, it doesn't so have powerful. to be. And isn't yeah, that is. thing, what you're saying there, you don't need to know when in the times of, you know, catastrophes and tragedies and things that you don't need to know a person to just reach out. It just brings no. Together, doesn't it? It just yeah magnetizes people. Yeah, yeah. So I just wanted to go on to talk about what the healing effects, <laughs> the benefits, the health benefits of a hug. Yes. So now yes, and it, and it does. It has it has a healing, um, because it. it I, I remember when I was just. Um, you know, just sitting down, I, I received some news and, and I was, you, you know, when, when, when you receive a news and you're in an area at work, <laughs> you know, I don't know about anybody else, but I try to compose myself. I try to, you know, be like, okay, uh, I will react later. <laughs> <laughs> you know, kind of thing. So, um, Representative Zanetta Esquire, come yeah. on out. <laughs> <laughs> so that Zanetta Esquire comes out, and, and you know, I'm like, okay, okay, uh, I need to do this, do this, do this, do that. Okay, uh, I need to finish this. And one of one of the ladies heard. And we're not really close. We're not really, you know, we're not um, co-workers, but we live in, I mean, we, uh, we worked in an area where we have our office and then their office is outside our office, but everybody heard. 
um, sad news travels fast, mm, especially in the workplace. And, um, and I was, you know, just working, you know, and then she came in behind and just put her hand lightly just to let me know that she's behind me. And she went around and gave me a hug. Mm. And she said, I know what it feels like. And that was it. And I was like, oh. Yeah. And just that one hug, just that, she didn't really have to say anything, but but when she did say, I know how it feels, I knew that I can go to her. Mm. I knew immediately that if, if there is a time when I come back from, you know, from leave, that if I'm having a hard time, I can go to her. Mm. So just giving that, just that assurance, that's all I needed. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and also let us not forget that not only is it when you receive, you open your heart to receive, but give, vice versa. There's a gift in that. There is such a gift because when you're yeah. giving that hug, it's a gift you're giving someone. And when you're receiving it, you're opening up your heart to that gift as well. So it works, you know, both ways that, you know, there's a transfer of energy and it's a benefit. That in yeah. itself, receiving, there's a benefit in receiving a hug. There's a benefit in giving a hug. So I just wanted to go through some of the um, the benefits, right? Mm -hmm. And like... Hugging reduces stress levels. You just stress. You're stressed like you were now. You just gave us that perfect example. You were going through an emotional time and you know it helped you just release a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that's that's really interesting. Also, there's been studies, right, that show that hugs and other physical connections reduce levels of stress hormones such as cortisol, cortisol, yes, in the body, and high levels of stress hormones and can cause a whole host of health issues, including sleep problems, skin problems, mm -hmm. obesity, low immunity, high blood pressure. So, you know, it helps reduce high blood pressure as well. It, yeah. lowers, it actually lowers frequent hugging and hand-holding can help to lower blood pressure. Did you know that? Yes. Reducing the risk of heart disease, heart attack, and stroke. Because when we go to the metaphysics of the heart, right, and love, mm -hmm. that blood that's pumping through, that's love. And when that's not flowing, that's when you get the heart attack. That's when you get the stroke because the blood blocks. There's no flow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You have a, or you have a blood disorder, a blood disease, because that's the love that's flowing. Isn't that interesting? Very. Yes. So if you do have high blood pressure, the prescription is <laughs> lots of hugs, lots of hand holding, and lots of Filipino kisses. Yes. <laughs> Some best of best. <laughs> yes. You know when, when when you said that um when when somebody hugs you, you just this exhale, mm. you know, that that immediate exhale. Um and sometimes you take even take a deep breath and then exhale, you know, um, uh, because when when um, and we've talked about this several times mm. whenever, you know, someone is having anxiety, even doctors and uh, paramedics. And when somebody is at a, at a state, we always say, take a deep breath, mm. breathe, breathe. So in, in exhaling, we're actually getting rid of carbon dioxide, which is when it's uh, when it's trapped in us, when we don't exhale, it uh, it becomes more toxic because we're getting rid of, we're not replenishing it with oxygen. So taking that deep breath, taking that oxygen and then exhaling some carbon dioxide, it's like, <sighs> wow. 
Exactly. Relief. Release. It relaxes the body. Mm. It lets the, the blood vessels know, okay, and the heart know, okay, we need, okay, we're not, we're not on emergency mode, right? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> we need to kind of calm down a bit. So yeah, that's the first thing that they say, breathe. Mm. That's why in hypnosis, when, you know, we put someone in the state of hypnosis, we, we start with the breathing. Remember how it's like, yeah. Concentrate on the breath and just taking really big, deep breaths in. So you're getting that oxygen in and out mm. and it just flows from there. But how often do, do we think about our breath really? We don't. We don't. We and don't. that's the very thing that's keeping us alive, you know, without breath, that's it. We're yeah. gone. Because it's so uh, autonomy that we don't really think about it. We mm. don't. We, we take it for granted. But when, you know, even when somebody's mad, calm down, take a deep breath, let it out. It. Okay, take one more because <laughs> one of them is not going to do it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Okay. okay. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, or, or when somebody's about to choke up, you know, when they're crying. Oh, okay. Mm, mm. Take, take breathing, take breaths. Yeah. And it's the same thing when, when you have that hug when you have that touch it's like <sighs> kind of yes yes yeah so hugging and just a few more that i want to go through is hugging mm -hmm. boosts self-esteem oh yeah touch is a powerful language that we can use to convey feelings of safety love and connection to you know who we want to the greater community when yeah. we're feeling down or lost, a hug can help ground us and remind us that we belong. And what you shared with us, that was a perfect example. That, you know, that co-worker, was it? She just came up behind you and just um, gave you a hug and, and just said, I know what it feels like. Yeah. Yeah. It improves relationships. I can't stress yes. that enough. Yes. You know, getting out of like, oh, I'm not going to hug unless he hugs me first or she did me wrong, so she's got to hug me first. <laughs> Let's get on with it and just give each other a hug. Yeah. And, and you know, when, when you have an argument, because Jeff is um, well known for this, come over here and give me a hug. I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because that's what men do. They, you know, that's their way of, not all men, but, you know, that's their way of conveying I'm sorry, you know, or apologize. Yeah. It's like the hug is like flag, white flag. We're just, we're good now, right? We're good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so then, so then he hugs me and he's like, come here, come here. And I'm like, mm -hmm. Give me a hug. Wrap your arms around me. <laughs> yeah, but then you know, then then I melt. You know, right. because because That's of his touch. touch. Right. Yeah. Exactly. And the intent he has behind that, and you, it's, yeah, it's energetically being transferred. So your mm, gets broken down quite rapidly, yeah. right? Yeah, it is. To yeah. you know, another way of dealing with it. <laughs> <laughs> so I do it to him too. Sorry, when, when he, I do it to him too. Right. Yeah. So he, he was he was probably. doing it to me all the time, mm. and uh, so now when he gets a little, mm. come here, give me a hug. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hug it out. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So definitely improves relationships, right? And also that's a it's an opportunity to you know. Um, it's another form of communication that conveys messages and feelings. You know, when sometimes you don't know what to say, you don't know what words to use, you know, it doesn't have to be all about words. And also it can be, a you know, another pathway of, you know, more intimacy between couples. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, and the last one too is it reduces pain. And that was what I shared with you about my dad. You know, when he's a lot of pain, I... I give him lots of hugs because it, it feel it, you know, you're releasing those feel good hormones 
called yeah. endorphins. Mm -hmm. And yeah. absolutely um, wonderful, wonderful. But is there a no. way to hug? That's the next question. Is, is there, there a way to hug? Like, mm. how do you hug? And how do you, you know, for someone that doesn't hug or you are, you know, in a relationship possibly or even a friendship um, where you may want to share that hug and that person is just so <laughs> cold. Mm. So here's a good example <laughs> that yes. Jesse said. This is the kind of hug you don't do. Uh huh. What's she say? I had a couple of exes that didn't want to be touched until they wanted their desired oh. touch. Didn't get genuine hugs unless it led to more. Not a comfortable feeling. Mm. So that is not the good hug. <laughs> That's a one one track, one road hug. Right. And you know where that's leading you. Yeah. It's expectation. Yeah. There's a there's an expectation placed on that. And it can yeah. be very uncomfortable. And you know, I know this is not let's talk relationship here, but I'm going to share it here for the guys. Yes. <laughs> but, you, know, you you may not even be aware of that because you know you are in that flow and in that mood and you're conveying that message, but just be aware how a woman feels when you're conveying that message because, mm -hmm. you know, unlike men, you know, women like to be warmed up and it's not all through physical. It's through the mind, through the spirit, through, you know, lots of other ways, but mainly the, the way you connect with her and make her feel. Right. So, you know, um, being open to just uh, hugging, first even yeah. a foot rub or you know it doesn't have to be you know just go straight for the kill mm -hmm. be just even you know touching as I always say to men women have other parts to their bodies <laughs> apart from <laughs> the obvious ones that men really like right so enjoy those other parts of a woman because she loves that you know really Zanetta as a woman to know that, you know, a man is really into your arm, you know, your hands or your ears or your right. neck, you know, where it's not really sexual, sexual. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. What? What's Jesse saying? Thanks. No, oh, there's a video. Say what? Jesse. Is it Jesse? Mm-hmm. There's a video of Juan, uh, Juan Howard and Chris Weber. Um, I said Juan, uh, it's Juan Howard. I'm sorry, I'm Filipino. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> Weber giving one another a hug at a basketball game. The joy in that greeting caught on camera brought joy to my heart and a tear to my eyes. Just love, yes. Um, just like there, there's this one, um, one. Uh, it was captured where Chadwick Boseman, I, I don't know if you remember him, um, the, the Black Panther. Okay. The one who played the Black Panther who died of right. you know, cancer. Um, there was, uh, I believe it was, um, gosh, Michael B. Jordan that hugged him. I can't, I can't remember if it was Michael B. Jordan or, but anyway, the, the, um, the both men, um, the other guy, uh, I believe it's Michael B. Jordan, hugged him mm. from behind. And the, the capture of Chadwick Boseman's face said it all. It was, it was like a, a hug of love that, I mean, the camera captured it. It captured it. You know, and that's when you know the hug is genuine. Yeah. Wow. Powerful. Very powerful. Yes. Very, very powerful. It was a it was a powerful picture. Um that that uh it went viral. 
It, it, it did. And it Correct. was, yeah, it was Michael B. Jordan. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That hugged him. That hugged him. Yes. Yeah. Him. Yeah. So it was, it was really, it was captured. And was that in the movie? Was that in the movie? No. What? Or this no. was just, um, just something that they're offset or something. Yeah, they were um, in some kind of um, gala or show or uh, awards, but um, it was it was really good. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Awesome. Awesome. So going back to hugs and, and you know, how, and how to hug. <laughs> we already said how not to hug. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's. Is there any other ways not to hug? We, that's the obvious one, but is there any other that you can think of? Okay, yes. Now, if you know, um, with with um, <laughs> okay, let me just let me just expose some people, <laughs> especially, yeah. Oh, in the church, yes. because in the church you're supposed to be brothers and sisters and you're supposed to be giving brotherly you know sisterly love or hug mm -hmm. some of them take the uh, <laughs> the opportunity mm -hmm. to hug in a sexual perverted way oh and how do they do that they you know you you're there to hug but they grab your mid and push you in oh in church? Yeah. What church do you go to? <laughs> Sorry. Um, that is not good. No. Uh, my The church that I went to was not the only church. I'm pretty yeah. sure there's a whole bunch of churches yeah. out there that do that. Um, yeah. uh, not not church, but the patrons that go there. Mm. They take that opportunity to be able to have that, you know, Squeak. that that feel. Feel. Yeah. <laughs> opportunity of a, a brotherly sisterly hug yeah well that's that's not the hug we're looking for right yeah that's another that's another hug that we know you don't do that you don't grab the woman in the mid and push them in so, yeah, yeah the woman guide you yeah exactly that is so that is so true so um what's what's uh jesse say about the church the church Hug. Mm -hmm. Here we go. The church hug has supposed to have a gap in between the lower torso. So it's supposed to, you're supposed to just hug by the shoulders. Right. While you, so it's like this. <laughs> but no, some take the the advantage. Mm. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's not good. So, yeah, so there's, it depends, I guess, who you're with and who you're hugging, right? <laughs> that makes a big yeah. difference, right? Yeah. So as to how to how to hug. And you know, there's nothing wrong for asking for a hug either. No. If you know, if you know you're with someone that is not a hugger and is kind of uncomfortable for them and you want to help them along to get a bit more comfortable with hugging, you know, there's nothing wrong with saying, you know, I'd like a hug or can I give you a hug? Yeah, and be okay to say no if oh, yes. you don't want that hug. Mm -hmm. Be okay to say no, and the person better be okay to accept the no. <laughs> don't be a creep. <laughs> yeah, don't be a creep. Don't be a creep. Yeah, so, um, yeah. And then also the length of the hug. Yes, there are lengths and there are lengths. <laughs> Yes. So what's yeah. a good length? What's a good lengthy hug or an appropriate? I mean, you can tell right away. You can tell when a person is wanting to release, mm -hmm. you know, um, release. <laughs> you know? But then they were like, mm, and then the, the bending and the, uh, 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 no, no. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Yeah. <laughs> What is she saying? Let's yes, see. one of the best hugs is from grandma. Yeah. Can't be a hug. 
It's like a mama yeah. hug. It's just a little bit more mature again, isn't it? <laughs> but you can feel, you can tell the difference. You can, you can, you can sense it. You can sense, you know, the hug. If the mm. hug is genuine, if the hug is a little too long, <laughs> if the hug has, you know, um, you know, any kind of malice. Mm. Yeah, you can tell. the tent. Definitely, because you know we're spiritual beings, and you're just transferring energy, really. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, the doctors ordered, right? A long, meaningful hug a few times a day may just be what the doctor ordered, and how yeah. to do it. Okay. So, if you know, particularly if you know someone that is not well, and you know, you know that the hug is going to give them a little bit of a lift. And, you know, you may want to talk about it, communicate, you know, did you know hugs do this and hugs can heal? And so you're introducing that before you go in for the hug. Okay. Mm -hmm. so that's really important. And you may want to try this also with someone that is a hugger. So if you're feeling a bit, you know, not sure how you're going to deliver it with someone who's not a hugger and you don't want to use them as a, a trial run you may want to do it with you know find a, a friend a partner a parent a sibling someone a friend um you could try a pet if they want to hang out with you long enough though lucy wouldn't <laughs> but agree to go in for a long embrace all right so you get that again with the good intent so it's an embrace of of love and and with the intent of healing, with the intent of sharing compassion or whatever. And what you do is you actually stand opposite each other and you hold each other's hands, right? So you're just holding each other's hands, you're being in each other's presence and space, and you look at each other in the eyes. So you're getting comfortable with that energy and you start thinking a positive thought, loving thought, or what I say sometimes is imagine from your heart to their heart, you're transferring this beautiful white light, brilliant light, sparkles, whatever works for you, whatever is mm -hmm. uh, resembles love and pink light, wires, <laughs> I don't know, whatever does it for you. And just move closer to one another, right? And mm -hmm. once you do that, embrace without moving right and don't rock don't sway don't turn around the bracing and take some deep breaths and listen to each other's breathing now this is magical because when you're in symphony with that other person's breathing um it's really wow okay mm -hmm. we're just doing an embrace here so you're doing you know and you just get in sync with that breathing so you're it's like building rapport and you're getting in in, in synchrony with that breath with each other and you embrace for at least a minute a minute maybe two if you want to but you know it's this transferring of of love just pure love no yeah. other intent but just to give and if it's coming back to you then you receive and if it's not coming back that's okay because you just you're wanting to practice the giving right mm -hmm. and then just let go slowly holding hands, then going back to looking at each other's eyes and then just saying, thank you. It's an amazing exercise if you want to try it. Anyone out there? <laughs> Zanetta, are you still with us? Yeah. <laughs> what are you thinking? You want to no, I mean it's it's a it's a good exercise. I think um I think we we did that um in a couples retreat or something like that. Um yeah, something like that. But it it was more comical, you, you know, it it became comical, you mm. know, with with my ex because <laughs> I was just going back through memory lane and I was like, yeah that wasn't a really good experience for me. Um, yeah. I guess because, you know, it depends on the person and how they're mm. really receiving it and wanting to do it actually. Mm. Um, 
So yeah, and, but, but I can see it's important them. to sit to do it with someone that you know they're going to receive, or you ask them. You know, if this exercise is going to be something which is different. It may take you out of your comfort zone. Are you okay with that? You know, just yeah, have a yes. little conversation about it. I think um, because this is something that um, yeah, I share with with couples as well, or with one partner to do it with their partner and share that the exercise. Mm -hmm and do it together because it definitely builds more intimacy more rapport if that's you know the depending on the intention again the intent with this one exercise was just to purely just share love with knowing yeah. with no expectation and get comfortable with with a hug yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah yeah it's really it's quite powerful and quite healing as well yeah <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I can see you going into like deep thought there, Zanetta. <laughs> what a question. Yeah, I'm sure it is. It's very hilly. Mm. Yes, 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 yes. So hugging, the benefits of hugging, the healing touch of a hug. Yeah, stress reducing, yeah. lifting us up, lowering blood pressure. Yeah, I think... You know, for what happened, you know, with the pandemic, mm. I think because it was taken away that um, I hear a lot of people now saying, oh, my God, I just want to hug. I just want to hug. You know, I just want to hug. Um, I just want to touch. I just want to, you know, feel. So I think because of the pandemic, it had... Um, what we take for granted, what we are so used to, when it was taken away, we now understand the power and uh, what a hug really does. Mm. So, yeah, it, it was, uh, it, and it was, it was good to see, you know, certain ones that are, um, when the, when, we were able to have the the um, the vaccination and being able to now have you know the contact you know instead of being six feet away oh. um, you know you saw the you know the you know the real hug and the the tears flowing and I saw I saw it at the airport oh. you know. Um, when I would pick up Jeff and uh, I just see it, just see them just running and hugging and crying. And mm. yeah, when, when, uh, when we were allowed to travel again. Yes. 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 So. And let us um, not underestimate those people too, that because, you know, there's a, a lot of people, a lot of us that because we were told not to hug and this social distancing and everything, that we have been somewhat uh, conditioned not to hug for two years, right? That's a long time. It's and to re time. reintroduce that, for some people that can be quite scary because they've still got in the back of their mind the, yeah. the, the pandemic, the, you know, the, the virus and everything. So yeah. take it easy with those people. <laughs> You huggers yeah. out there. <laughs> yeah, have, have, you know, have, have an understanding, mm. you know, understand um, what, what their respect. Yeah. That's all it is. Mm. Respect. <clears throat> and just, um, yeah, just show it through compassion and empathy and um, slowly help them, you know, break into that hugging and they may have been huggers before. I've known people that were huggers and are not hugging anymore. Even people right. that were shaking hands, you know. Um, and if you have a good, you know, relationship with them or enough to want to share that exercise that I just shared, try and do that because that's yeah. really going to, even with your masks on, if that's the case, you know what I mean? Right. So it's not going straight for, um, yeah, the, the hug without a mask because that can be quite mm -hmm. important on people as well yeah. yeah yeah so 
yeah, that's what I wanted to share about hugs. And I just love the hugs. And, and don't forget to hug yourself. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> right? The importance of hugging yourself is um, extremely important. And feeling yourself, you know, careful how I say that, but feeling present. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wasn't going to say anything. I, I, I like, just oh, thought of that after I said it. Uh, <laughs> I take that back. Feeling your presence in that hug. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. That's too funny. That's too funny. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, yes. So, Zanetta, do you have any other things you'd like to share about you know the power of a hug and, and no, it's, it, you know you know this this is really good because um uh being a hugger uh you, you know it, it's in getting through this pandemic um mm -hmm. you, you know you have that like what you said somebody some some people have that hesitation you know, um, and today was the very first day that I did not wear my mask. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, I'm feeling myself. <laughs> <laughs> Even Beyonce say I'm feeling myself. Yeah. <laughs> um. You know, it was it was the first time I've ever went out without without a mask. Um, my intention was to bring my mask, but because I was so in in you know uh, into the conversation with um, with the two ladies that I was with, that I for totally forgot forgot my mask. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, and, and it it was. Mm. <laughs> it was really nice because I wasn't, you know, breathing my own breath because that's, you know, carbon dioxide that I'm breathing back in. Um, it was better air. All right. Um, and I felt like, and the, 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 um, the art, the arts and craft um, expo that we went to, almost, almost everyone that was there did not have a mask on. There was really? a few here and there that did. You can count as to how many had their masks on. Mm. And just to see the faces, just to see their smile, just to see, you know, oh, the, you know, they're, they're, I mean, it was, it was it was great. It was it was good. It was a good experience. It really was. It you know some just just that alone. You you don't think about that. You mm -hmm. know. I know. Yeah, I don't know about the other ladies that were with me, but that stood out. I was looking at people, and you know, I was looking at the art exhibits as well. But I was looking at people. I was like, oh gosh. <laughs> Oh, they don't have a mask on. Oh, oh, look at them smiling. Oh, look at them, ha you know, having a conversation and, you know, engaging. So that's what I was looking at. I was like, wow, it's, wow, this mm. is, this is new. <laughs> yeah. For two years. Wow. That is a long time, really, when you think about it. We've really been through a lot in the yeah. last years and how it's, it's actually, you know, change people and condition people. And, um, but I think the best way to deal with that is just, you know, have compassion, have some patience for others and for yourself yeah. as well, because it, what your needs are may not be what others are and mm -hmm. their, their comfort zone may be different. So we just need to be un more understanding towards that. But it definitely is a, a release. And the other last Saturday night, I, I went dancing. And, yeah, it felt, oh, my God, like everyone's not got a mask on. And there was one guy that had a full-on facial mask. And it was just like, oh, my God. And it was hot. We had a really hot night that night. We were sweating heaps of things. And how's this guy dancing with this mask? Like it must be killing him. 
Yeah. I mean, I must admit, well, we didn't have dancing, but even when the dancing came back and you had to wear masks, I didn't go back. I just didn't feel comfortable to mm -hmm. um, just simply because it's uncomfortable. You know, you, you yeah. sweat, you breathe. It's like exercising without with a mask on. It's just it's near enough impossible. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So anyway, oh, good. Well, hugs. What would you like to tell the audience? What note, what what pearl drop treasure would you like to drop for them today? Mm. <laughs> what did you do one with the, the beso, 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 beso? You know, in, in Portuguese, no, is it Spanish? It's besos. No, besos. Besos is Spanish. Bisu, bisu, bisu is Portuguese. Oh, see, well, yeah. So some of some of them, bacho. huh? Italian it? bacho, bacho. Oh, bacho. Plural, plural is baci, baci. In fact, oh, they, have, they have the sweet. They have the chocolate, baci chocolates. Do you have them? I'm sure you have them. They're the Italian. They come from Italy. They're imported. Oh my god, they're amazing. I'm gonna have to look for it. Yeah, I'll. I'll uh, screenshot them for you. And if you can't get yeah. them, I'll send them to you because they're all, it's a kiss in a chocolate. Oh. <laughs> and I like to roll it around in my mouth, melt the chocolate. Mm. And in the middle is a hazelnut. That's the best part. Yeah, so you got to do it really slowly. And I love to freeze my chocolate. Oh, my God, we can talk about chocolate next time. I love chocolate. <laughs> Oh, what can chocolate do? <laughs> That's too yeah. Funny. So yeah, so, back to the question. <laughs> yes. So the, a, a nugget that I would give is that you, you know when when you don't have anyone, um, just like what you, uh, you know with Jesse, she said she's she's a single human, so she's single. You know when when you need, just need that hug. Give it to yourself. Mm. You know, we're so used to giving hugs to others. Mm. Yes. Give a gift of a hug to yourself. That's a nugget. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> That's my nugget for the night. Yes, I love it. <laughs> Get yourself. And I'd just like to say that, um, yeah, I think don't hold back in asking for a hug. Mm. You know, if you feel that you need someone else's not need someone you would like to feel the embrace of someone else's hugging you don't be afraid don't hold back to ask because there's nothing wrong with it the the worst thing worst they can say no and that's okay you'll find another another person want to hug you trust me there's billions of us yes. and out of these billions there's bound to be someone that is going to um want to give you a hug I know, yes. have you ever seen those people that stand there with a sign and say, free hug? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I mean, what are you about to say? Do but you know that there is a hug therapist? No. Wow. Yes. And I can There's see no. that working. I can really see that working for those that yeah. um, you know, because there's a lot of lonely people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there's also um, like little places. I think it started in, in Seattle. I think it is. I think it's in Seattle, um, Washington State, where they started this hug therapy. Mm. Wow. Yep. Because I, I think that's where it's what where they first detected it. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and that's when we found out about the COVID-19, even though it was back in 2019, it, we found out about it in 2020. Um, so, yeah, I think it's, I think it's, it's in Seattle where, where they started this hug therapy. And then now it's a, it's a. <clears throat> mm, exactly. And yeah, so there's nothing wrong because, you know, we got used to sending virtual hugs via computer, you know, sending you a virtual hug and, yeah, that's right, or a heart or something. So you know, <laughs> doing that, so don't be don't be afraid to actually um, ask for a hug or 
want to give a hug because there's a gift in giving as well and, and there's feel good endorphins happening for you when you're giving as well as that person yeah. receiving you so can... yeah yes this um, is really good. yeah it's been a great a feel good time. conversation <laughs> feel good time. and feel good conversation yeah yeah so thank you Zanetta as always thank you <laughs> thank you to our audience that has popped in and said hello and Jesse who's been very present thanks for your your yes. uh, um, feedback and sharing of your uh, experiences and anyone else who watches this show on the replay please put hashtag yes <laughs> replay or live if you're watching it now live and you're just sitting back quietly please do and we will be back as always on yes. Fridays for fun, fresh Fridays. And Zanetta got her topic for next week, which I don't no, know. No, I think I robbed you from another one because I did the, um, um, you know, talking about mental health. I think I did two. Right. So let's go with you with two. <laughs> could be talking about chocolate next week oh let's talk about chocolate <laughs> <laughs> that could be fun and fresh <laughs> <laughs> so everybody yeah. get a block of chocolate out as we talk about chocolate next week oh yeah <laughs> you know, i love i love i love um i'm i'm hooked with um belgian chocolate i love belgian chocolate um, and so I have my husband hooked on Belgian chocolate. So I'm going to try the Italian chocolate. Yeah. The bet. Bacio. 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 I have a bacio ice cream as well. In Italy, oh, my God, you can get so many things bacio because it's all, it's got the hazelnut flavor to the chocolate. Yeah. It's just, it's from oh. Perugia. Perugia is a city up north in Italy. Yeah. And oh, that's the, the chocolate city. Yeah. Okay. Well, I oh will. I will give me a screenshot, and I will look for it, and I will. I will. I will. Yeah. So, because chocolate is um, healing, also. Oh, I know. Yes. <laughs> more ways than one. In more ways than one. <laughs> Just like the hug. The hug is healing in more ways than one. Well, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> So, yeah, stay tuned, everyone, because I'm going to, yeah, I think I'm going to talk about chocolate. I have to now. Yes. That I it, right. And um, come and join us next week, Friday, Fun Fresh Fridays, and we'll talk about chocolate. What's your flavor in chocolate? <laughs> Thank you, Zanetta. Thank you. Sending everybody lots of love and passion, as always. Bye for now. Bye for now. <laughs>